dear students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture of cell biology i will clear cell wall dear students this is an important topic for all competitive exams at bsc students dear students cell wall it is the outer rigid covering of plant cells fungal cells and some protistan cells its discovery cre credit goes to robert hooke it was first seen and observed by robert hooke in 1665 in cork cells of spanish oak dear students this cell wall it is a non living extra cellular secretion of cells which is metabolically active and it is capable to grow and the cell wall the plant cell wall that shows three parts its first part is middle lamella no down look here in this diagram the middle lamella this thin cementing layer which is present between two adjacent cells dear students this middle lamella it is the first formed layer between two plant cells and this middle lamella it develops at the time of cytokinesis of cell division here this middle lamella which is first form layer that is developed at the time of cytokinesis in the form of a cell plate and that cell plate grows outwardly centrifugally note down this middle lamella competitive exam students it is made up of calcium and magnesium packet and its solubilization solubilization of packet substance at the time of ripening of fruits into a jelly substance that causes softening of fruits not down this middle lamella which is first form layer which is present between the two adjacent plant cells and this middle lamella which is developed it develops at the time of cytokinesis of cell division and this middle lamella which is made up of calcium and magnesium packets at that packet substance that gets solubilized into a jelly substance at the time of ripening of fruits that causes softening of fruit wall primary wall this is the primary wall this one is the primary wall next to this middle lamella the prime primary wall that is first formed layer of a plant cell and this primary wall it is a thin layer this one is primary wall which is a thin single layer and this primary layer wall or single layered wall that grows by into susception not down competitive exam students into susception means it grows deposition of its material that occurs within the existing layer inside the existing layer that type of growth is into susception deposition of additional material within the existing layer this primary wall that is a single layered and it is first form layer of a plant cell particular cell its cellulose content is low but its protein content is high its hemicellulose content content is maximum about 50% and dear students in this primary wall pits are absent no unthickened areas secondary wall it is produced this secondary wall is produced in some mature plant cells and secondary wall develops when a plant cell stops its growth dear students this primary wall that is a single layered but this secondary wall generally it is three or more than three layered and the secondary wall that grows by accretion 
while this primary wall that grows by into susception into susception means a deposition of material within the existing layer but accretion that kind of growth that occurs in this secondary wall accretion means deposition of material occurs on the existing layer this secondary wall it is a thick layer but this primary wall it is a thin layer this primary wall it is a single layer and this secondary wall it is three or more than three layered these layers are s1 s2 s3 etc now down in this primary wall cellulose content is low but cellulose content is high in secondary wall protein content is high that is about 5% in primary wall but the protein content in secondary wall that is low about 5% the hemicellulose content that is maximum which is about 50% in primary wall but this hemicellulose content it is low which is about 25% in secondary wall and dear students lipid content the lipid content here in primary wall that is about 5 to 10 percent but here in secondary wall lipid content is almost absent or negligible not down important point in this primary wall the additional substances like lignin and sobrin that kind of deposition absent but in this secondary wall which is thick due to the deposition of additional substances like sobrin and lignin very important point in this primary wall this is a thin layer and in this primary wall pits are absent but in this secondary wall these pits these are unthickened areas and these unthickened areas are named pits the pits are of two types simple pits and bordered pits dear students these simple pits these simple pits having uniform width but in these bordered pits which are flask shaped this is all about cell wall dear student the cell wall which is an outer hard rigid protective covering that is a characteristic of plant cells fungal cells some protistan cells and this cell wall its discovery credit goes to robert hooke in 1665 when he studied the cork waves of spanish oak the cell wall that is metabolically active and it is capable to grow but this secondary wall that secondary wall develops when a mature plant cell stops its growth this middle lamella this middle lamella it is fast formed layer between the two adjacent plant cells and this middle lamella develops at the time of cytokinesis of plant cell and this middle lamella very important it is made up of calcium and magnesium pectates at that pectate substance gets solubilized at the time of ripening of fruits that causes softening of fruit wall and this primary wall which gets deposit deposited inside the middle lamella this is primary wall it is fast formed layer of a particular plant cell this primary wall that is a single layer but this secondary wall it is three or more than three layered dear students in this secondary wall these unthickened areas are pits may be uniform width then these are simple pits or when the shape becomes flask like then the pit is bordered 